Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. I apologize for not doing any video content in the past few weeks. Um, I've had a, a lot of bad luck when it comes to weather and I haven't seen any clear nights in a while. Um, but hopefully that will change. Uh, I'm really anxious to get out there and start shooting some objects again. It's literally cloudy and snowy as I'm filming this. <laughs> That's my poor little mount, just waiting to be used. Anyways, I get a lot of questions surrounding my acquisition PC, and I thought it'd be a good idea to do a video on it and deep dive into some of its features. The question I get most is, what are the computer specs? This B-Link mini PC runs the Windows 10 operating system and has 6 gigs of RAM, an Intel Apollo Lake processor, and 64 gigs of SD storage. Uh, one of the first things I did when I bought this was increased the storage to 250 gigs and that allows me to have uninterrupted nights of astrophotography without having to move data from one computer to another. This mini PC has four HDMI 3.0 ports, an SD card reader, two HDMI ports, an Ethernet port, and an audio port. It also has Wi-Fi receiver and a nice antenna. And it's also powered with 12 volts DC, which means it's perfect for the pocket power box that I have by Pegasus Astro. This thing uh, uses Velcro to stick on the top. And then I'm able to plug in DC power. I also like to expand the USB ports that I have on this PC by adding four more with this USB hub. I just plug that in and stick it on top with Velcro. It's a little workhorse of a PC and I'm glad I'm able to make slight modifications to it to increase its performance in one way or another. The way I attach this PC to my telescopes is just with Velcro. It's lightweight enough and small uh, where I don't have to worry about it falling off. Another question I get often is where did I buy this PC and how much was it? I bought this mini PC about a year ago and uh, B-Link actually discontinued this model, but there are similar ones with um, similar price, but a bit better specs right now. The PC was about uh, $250 and the expanded storage that I got was an added 50 bucks. The next question that I commonly see is what software do I run? This mini PC is strictly for acquisition and controlling the mount. It doesn't have any programs for doing any data processing or stacking. For that, I use my desktop PC, which is definitely a beefier computer. The first software that you'll find on this mini PC is Astrophotography Tool. This allows me to do acquisition, whether that be with a Canon DSLR or a uh, CMOS camera like my ZWO ASI 294. This is a great program with lots of functionality and uh, they also have a free version which I'm still using. Uh, the paid version allows you to get more features, but you can get all the basic functionality from the free version. Next I have Stellarium and Stellarium Scope installed on this PC. Uh, this allows me to control my mount uh, by using the Stellarium application. I simply just have to select an object, press Control 1, and then the telescope will start slewing to that object. This software will only work after installing ASCOM drivers and EQ mod. I've grown very comfortable controlling my mount this way, and uh, I don't see me changing this anytime in the near future. Next, I have PHD2 guiding installed, and if you're not familiar with what PHD2 guiding is, uh, it allows me to periodically make corrections to my mount while using a guide scope. This keeps my object in frame and allows for long uh, exposure astrophotography. And lastly, I have TeamViewer installed, which is free software that allows you to stream one desktop to another. So I'm able to stream my acquisition PC to my PC inside here. Um, I'm also able to use mouse and keyboard controls so I can stay comfy inside while controlling my mount that is outside. When I first started uh, doing astrophotography with my 6SE telescope and before I installed TeamViewer, I was using a 7-inch display to control my mount. I still use this method if I don't have internet or I'm troubleshooting something on the mount when I'm outside, but having a display like this is a good alternative to have. I'll talk quickly about the pros and cons that I have with this, though it was hard coming up with some of the cons. First one being that most astrophotography applications run on Windows, uh, and this system runs Windows 10, so that is perfect. The next thing is, like I said before, it is small and lightweight and easy to put onto my mount. Uh, it hasn't been a problem yet, and the Velcro always holds. Next, it has wireless capabilities, which is great for remote access. And lastly, it runs on 12 volts DC, which is perfect for the Pegasus Astro Powerbox that I have. 
Some of the cons that I came up with are, it doesn't have enough USB ports. Even though it does have four USB 3.0 ports, I do find myself using the USB hub to expand on that. The Wi-Fi receiver that it does have isn't the strongest, so I did have to use a Wi-Fi extender to get the internet further in the backyard so I can get better signal. But once I did that, everything was fine. And that's it. My acquisition PC has served me very well over the year. Uh, I don't see me changing anything on this anytime soon. I've had no problems with the software or hardware, and uh, it's running minus 30 degrees temperature uh, as well as plus 30 degrees temperature. So uh, it's a very nice computer and I'm glad I got it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and picked up on a few things that maybe you can migrate to your rig. And if you think that I can do something a bit more efficiently or, or more clean, uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and hopefully uh, these clouds let up soon and I'm able to do some astrophotography and share that with you guys. Talk to you later.